2000 was a strong year for hip hop with a couple of mega selling mainstream classics like Eminem and Outkast and lots of solid underground releases. Welcome to Major Key Unlimited. Today, we're looking at hip hop in the first year of the new millennium. What was it like? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. While most of his Wu-Tang colleagues struggled to follow up their classic solo debuts with worthy follow-ups, Ghostface even surpassed his astonishing debut Iron Man with Supreme Clientele. Supreme Clientele was a monumental album and in my opinion, Ghostface is very best in a solid all-around catalog. Supreme Clientele started at number seven on the Billboard 200 chart and number two on the top R&B hip hop albums chart, selling 134,000 copies in its first week. It was certified gold in sales by the RIAA. Bone Thugs and Harmony was always a group for listeners with an acquired taste. If you can vibe with it, then you will love them. Although critics would have said that this comeback album wasn't the greatest, it's an evolution of an album called Art of War, showing all the talent, lyrics, and production that makes Bone Thugs and Harmony great. Bone Thugs and Harmony Resurrection is more mature than their first albums and less mainstream oriented than The Art of War, being a must have for Bone Thugs and Harmony fans at the very least. It reached platinum status within a month. Far from being the best work, but also not his worst, improving the more uneven War and Peace Volume 1, the second part has some good moments. It starts incredibly strong with the NWA reunion track, Hello. Although Ice Cube lost the hunger and sharpness that made his first solo album legendary, a mediocre Ice Cube album is still better than most others. The album received generally positive reviews from critics and debuted at number three on the US Billboard 200, selling 185,000 copies in its first week. The album was certified gold by the RIAA. Like Water for Chocolate indeed is up there as one of Common's best in an excellent overall discography. Like Water for Chocolate is probably as good as the album B, and it is one of those rare albums that musically transforms the genre of hip hop, but simultaneously is pure hip hop to the core. With jazzy and soulful production work from the best of Quest Love, J Dilla, DJ Premier, and Common in top form on the mic, this is truly a masterpiece that has aged like fine wine. The album was certified gold by the RIAA and sold 748,000 copies by March of 2005. Not the classy capital punishment level, but a solid big pun album nonetheless. Yeah Baby is pun's second and unfortunately his last album. Posthumously published in April of 2000 after Big Pun's death in February of the same year, it peaked at number three on the Billboard 200 and sold 179,000 units during the week it was released. It was certified platinum, selling over 1.1 million copies in the United States. Released after his discovery, the Slim Shady LP and before the Eminem show, the Marsha Mathers LP still is considered Eminem's magnum opus. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, staying atop for eight consecutive weeks. The album sold 1.78 million copies in its first week, making it among the fastest selling studio albums in the United States. Marsha Mathers LP has been included in several greatest albums and is widely regarded as Eminem's best album. It has sold 21 million copies worldwide, being one of the best selling albums of all time and certified diamond by the RIAA. Was this the sophomore release Big L had in mind after his first album's underground success? 
We'll never know because he was killed before the album was finished. This posthumous album displays Big L's insane lyrical skill. It feels a bit incoherent because it is partly a collection of Big L's unreleased work and his finishing touch is missing. Nevertheless, the big picture contains some perfect classics and will forever be a sad reminder of a young life and probably an epic career tragically and surprisingly cut short. The album sold 72,549 copies in the first week and landed number two on the US top R&B hip hop albums chart. Although art official intelligence, Mosaic Thump may not be their greatest album, it still flies above most other hip hop albums released at the end of the century. Artificial Intelligence, Mosaic Thump is a rock solid album from one of hip hop's best rap groups ever. It debuted at number nine on the Billboard 200, selling 81,000 copies in its first week. But what do you think? Was this year a solid hip hop piece of history? Or only a few names made it good this year? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we continue to send your way. Again, I am Five Weeks Beats and see you next time. Cap up in your way.